Uh, we should go live in about another 30 seconds, okay? We are almost ready. Almost there, guys. Okay, let's get going. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday morning. And if you guys are just new to the channel, welcome to the community. And let's see what else. Uh, if you are buying a, if you haven't decided which one you guys want to buy between Brista Pro versus Brista Express, you have to watch this video. Okay, so I'm going to run down the pros and cons uh, about both machines, and I'm going to show you kind of like the design change. Okay, not cosmetically, but the actual design change comes to the flow of the water. Okay, the uh, water from the group head. So you know what? Uh, let's get going. I don't want to waste you, you guys' time. So. I'm going to start with uh, Brista Express. So I have to take out the, the group head this morning to show you guys what's the main design difference between uh, Brista Express versus Brista Pro. Because, I mean, obvious, obvious ones, we already know, okay? The starting time. You know what? Let's go with the obvious ones first. I'm just going to shut everything up. Obvious ones are the starting time, okay? If you're going to start the button here, Breeze Dark Pro, matter of seconds, we are turn on, okay? We are ready to go. But with the Breeze Dark Express, turn it on. Ivers is turned on <clears throat> right away. The reason is they are using the thermal blocks because I've been warming up for the last 30 minutes. So Ivers is turned right on. But uh, if you are turning on for the first time, takes about like 30 seconds to turn on uh, compared to three seconds okay so that's the major difference and also the steaming power with the steam I turned it on right there they indicate that we have the steam mode steam is turns right on okay you don't have to wait much As you can see, you know, pretty powerful. Uh, comes to Brista Express. I'm gonna turn it on right now. Stemming mode. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait again. Okay, we are going to wait some more, guys. So now, you can hear the pump. So, so now we have to, again, so you saw the two major difference there. I mean, just start right out, just the obvious one. So starting time, okay, the steaming power. That's two major things. So by the way, if you are looking to buy a one right now, okay, on Amazon selling for, as of today, uh, $6.99 already, okay? Some reason during the holiday times, they drop the price and then, you know, right now, $6.99. I'm sorry, $6.99 for Brista Express. $7.99 for, okay, okay so this, uh, this is $800 machine versus a $700 machine, okay? So right now, the price is only about $100 difference. So if you don't have any machine, is $100 make a big difference? I don't know. I mean, for me, it is. I mean, that's a lot, still a lot of money. Okay, you know what? So let me show you another thing. I just realized the other day, okay? So when I was cleaning my group head the other day. So, so this is the Brista Pro, the shower screen and screws, okay? So they're using the flathead screw drive, the screw head there. 
And then, so this is the Bristol Express. They are using the Allen wrench. And I, I was curious about why they changed the design. The reason is, let me show you guys very close up. By the way, this is what happens when you spend a lot of time on your coffee machines, okay? You find these silly things, but I think this is fascinating. I'm just gonna turn on my little light here. And then let me show you. Because you figure most group have, the water comes from the middle, okay? For some reason, Brista Express, the water is come from the side, okay? Hold on a second. You see that little hole there to the side? You know what? Let me show you guys. It'd be easier to show you. Okay. You see that? The water is coming from the side, not from the middle. Okay. Okay, compared to Brista Pro. So this is Brista Express and Brewster Pro. Okay, here we go. So this is the Brewster Pro. Come right from the middle. As you can see from there. So what does that mean? Which means, so when, okay, correct me, I'm wrong, okay, guys? I mean, I'm not an actual engineer to design these machines, but <clears throat> my common sense tells me that once you uh, hit from the middle, give you better uh, water distribution, okay, compared to Brista Express come from the side, so you're not going to get that even the, uh, shower uh, even you know water distribution from the sh uh, shower screen so uh, it's going to make difference in the coffee taste I'm not sure okay so that's what we're gonna do we are going to put some copper shots and then see any difference in the shot quality okay so best way to do that is I'm going to be using the uh, bottomless pore filter from Crema uh, Crema coffee product so show us that exactly what the shower look like. Uh, so this one, I'm gonna be using uh, just regular shower, uh, shower screen. I know there is a uh, IMS precision basket for, uh, let's see, so IMS precision basket for rubber uh, selling right now on Amazon, if you guys are interested. Uh, I'm gonna put the link down below. I'm also, I'm getting that one, okay? Because uh, I've been using the hack version of it. It works good, but I'm gonna get the real deal. So I'm going to show, share that with you, uh, hopefully next week. So, uh, so th this is just a regular plain Amazon filter basket. Okay. So let's get going. So I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the shot. I'm going to start with the Brista Express and let's see what the shot uh, quality looks like. But meantime, I have to put back the shower screen back. So just bear with me for a second. I mean, if you are watching my video after live, just fast forward this portion. Okay, so this is done. But personally, I really like the Allen wrench screws, but how they designed this, so you cannot use the Allen, uh, the red, the, the Allen wrench screw for that because you, you have to use the flathead. The reason is, hold on. Oh, hopefully you guys can see it. You see that tiny holes there? So that's the water is coming out. Okay. They got one, two, three holes. So water going, so water is going in the middle of the screw and coming out from the side and disperse from the, uh, your shower screen. So that's how this thing works. So, I mean, I'm, you know, I was pretty impressed by the Bravo engineer team because they really designed heck out of it. Hold on. Let me 
just going to put everything back in here so we can make some coffee. By the way, if you haven't cleaned your shower screen, make sure to do it maybe at least once a week. I mean, if not at least once every other week, make big difference in the coffee taste. Okay. So we are ready, okay? So I'm using the, this week the New Berry Coffee from, actually from Orange County, I believe. This is Sumatra. All right, I got 19.5 gram there. I'm just gonna flush. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday morning, by the way. Did you reveal the Barista Pro secret yet? That was the secret. That was the secret, okay, about the Barista Pro, that, about the water is coming out from the middle. Okay. Who's asking? Dean and Justin. Okay, so you know what? There was a secret. I think I overblown the secret there. Okay, I think I over-exaggerated perhaps, but... I thought it was really clever though, okay, the, how they designed it. Okay, so by the way, if you have a wine cook at home, okay, if you have a wine cook at home, okay, if you have a wine cook at home, so I've been using, so I just got this. So this is the, the printer, the, the head cleaner, okay? That look like acupuncture needle. So this one is really sturdy, bend it well, very strong. So this is really good for kind of distribution tool, okay? So, it's, so I made a, it's called coffee rake. And I got the design from the uh, decent espresso machine, their website. I know those guys are talking about that the other day. So I just made my own. Uh, the design is kind of like I copy their design. And man, it works really good, by the way. Okay, it works fantastic. So, so I've been using it for the last few days. And <clears throat> actually, yeah, I'm really liking it. Okay. So this is, uh, we are uh, going to pull the shot using Brista Express. You know, I'm gonna use the, this called coffee rake. I'm just gonna kind of nice and evenly distribute, okay? So this is not a WDT tool, but act like one. So this is a, a coffee rake. I mean, you can make it at home. So now everything is like nice and smooth. There's no clumps there. By the way, so I'm using the built-in grinder too. So it's not like I'm using the niche. So I'm, I'm not going to distribute. I'm just going to temp straight. Give it a good temp. Just make sure nice and even. Okay. Now it comes to pressure wise. Same pressure every time if you can. All right. Let's some, put some shot here. Because it, because we don't want to get a donut, you know, donut extraction. And then, so you want to be like evenly start from the top, you know, evenly distribute. So we'll see. So this is a shot from Brista Express. And then hopefully, we're gonna get some right shots, okay? If I got a poor shot, it'd be embarrassing. Hold on. I think we have a nice view there for you guys. Not bad, okay. Looks good. Looks very good. 
there's no channeling right from the center yeah beautiful crema goodness a fantastic shot fantastic yeah this is not bad not bad for built-in grinder okay not bad for built-in grinder and a uh, $700 coffee machine so so now let's move on to Brista Pro I'm hoping this one performs better than this one but we'll see we'll see how it goes okay that's what you guys are watching so you guys are uh, kind of like toss between Pro versus Express so I'm using the same setup here I'm just gonna I'm just gonna heat up my photo filter. Okay. Again, I'm not gonna wait my shot. I'm just gonna show you guys the, the shot quality. Okay. We can always uh, get the grinder setting right, but I mean, I thought this is pretty good. Oh, uh, you know what? Before that, let's try these shots. So I'm new. Uh, so this is a Sumatra. Cheers. Okay, smells good. Wow. Well balanced. Fantastic. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so from here, I got another 19.5 gram. I'm gonna pop it in. By the way, can you hear the difference between the sound of Brista Express and Brista Pro? Seems a higher pitch. Seems like this is a lot more higher pitch than this one. This is more like low tone and this is a lot high. I'm not sure that's the way it's designed, but Because the fact is, is none of our machines are the same, even grinder as well. I'm just gonna use my coffee rake, make sure everything is nice and even. And hopefully we're gonna get the similar shots, okay? By the way, if this is <clears throat> too much work for you, uh, just, just, uh, just put uh, pressurized baskets instead of non-pressurized baskets. Uh, uh, you can use uh, any kind of grinder setting, okay? Not any, but you can use a pre-ground uh, coffee or, or, you know, you can do pretty much whatever you want. You don't have to worry about the grinder size for sure. Okay. Now, as you can see, man, everything is all nice and flat. Look at that, okay? By the way, it's not quite flat yet, okay? You see the other side right there? So what I like to do is, you just kind of like, kind of like raking it, kind of like you know, landscaping, move to the side. Okay. Just make sure everything is all nice and even. Yep, just like that. And then I'm not gonna use the distribution tool, I'm just gonna temp it. Just even pressure. Make sure nice and even. Okay, that's it. Okay, let's pull the shot here. I'm actually excited to sh share this shot with you. It'd be embarrassing, you know, if I got all kinds of channeling happening on this shot. Compared to Brista Express. Okay. All right, here we go, guys. Okay, the side up looks good. Evenly distributed, yep, right on the middle.
na pé na pé oral beautiful shots two for two yeah two for two there pretty good I mean, I mean, this is another thing I love about uh, kind of sharing it with you in a live, a live session because sometimes, and people like me, or, you know, sometimes I edit it out or the best shots and, and then try again, try again and again and get the perfect shots. But the fact is, you know, I don't want to know that because if I want to see something, <clears throat> because I want to show you guys the what really happening, okay? the machine because I mean if he does pull shot I just waste that shot but in real life we still gonna drink this coffee anyway so let's try this yeah okay. let's try this cheers so this is about 30 second shot here Wow <sighs> okay if I if I'm gonna say it's gonna be taste different, if this is better taste, you may not believe, but this is a little better, okay? Uh, give you better balanced flavor. I mean, that's, that's I, I mean, I wish some of them were here so I can give you guys a blind taste, but definitely more mellow and smooth and bring out all the chocolatey note. But this one, let's try one more time. And like, it's not as balanced. Let's put it that way. The huge difference between the Pro versus Express, that one has uh, 30 different settings, okay? 30 different grinder setting. Brista Express has uh, 16 different settings. So uh, give you more, exactly the same grinder, but give you more uh, adjustment on this guy. So the so theory behind that is so it give you the better extraction, okay? It comes to temperature wise, uh, if you warm up properly, you can get a really nice shot from this one. But again, so this one also, you can get a really good shot as well. So again, that's, you have to, Brista Pro never gets hot, uh, comes to portal filter. So you have to do a couple dummy shots before, okay? And then you should be fine. Do a couple dummy shots. Which ones are hotter coming out of the machine? Do they have the same PID setting? So it comes to the temperature setting. They're, they both have the exact same PID setup. Okay, plus two, plus four, minus two, minus four. So they are the same. So the temperature should be the, uh, should be the same, okay? Should be the same. And what else? Uh, Brista Express, this is more like 12 to 13 bar machine, okay? So whenever I put the, uh, if you haven't seen it, go back to my older video. I actually did a measure for the Brista Express for the uh, pressure test. So this one is more like 78 bar there. So give you the you know consistent pressure. So I mean overall, okay, overall, if you if you are looking to buy a new machine right now, okay, as of today, if you have extra hundred dollars, I think I go with the Brista Pro. Okay, I think I go with the Brista Pro because you saw both machines, but does really good job. Okay, it does a pretty good job. The either of them. I mean, if you don't have extra hundred dollars there, I mean, you should be happy with Brista Express as well. And uh, comes to longevity, <clears throat> I'm not sure because Brista Express has there's no screen. Okay, no LCD screen. That's pretty. I mean, pretty solid machine. Okay. And the, but with Brista Express, uh, Brista Pro, we have an LCD screen. So. I don't know how durable they are. Okay, if, it, if the screens went out, I mean, can we replace it easily? I don't know. So that's the one thing I'm a little worried about. But overall, I mean, Brabra makes pretty good, fantastic appliance. Okay, I mean, they're appliance company, but the coffee machines are pretty decent. I mean, actually, it's better than, better than decent. Okay, I compare that with my uh, Rancholia Servia, even my Lapaboni. I mean, they are hold their own, so. Any questions? We have some questions. I'm gonna take some uh, questions. The first one is from Mr. Wang. 
Mr. Wang. Is the difference affect the quality of the coffee? Difference. The differences between machines. Which one makes better coffee? Comes to uh, which one makes better coffee? You know what? They both makes great coffee. Okay. So right now I'm just kind of nitpicking it. But in reality, you know, because you're going to get up early in the morning, you're going to start making coffee. Okay. Comes to quality of coffee, you're not going to tell the difference unless you know you saw what I did. Okay. I mean, I just. Use my you know homemade coffee rig and distribute it properly. If you are drinking just straight up like straight espresso, you may slightly difference in taste difference there. Mode is more balanced versus not. I mean, other than that, you, yeah, you're not gonna tell the difference. Okay, <clears throat> what 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 else? By the way, uh, if you guys like this video, make sure press like on your computer or your phone right now. Okay. And if you don't like this video, okay, don't do anything. Okay, I know some people put thumbs down, stop doing that. <laughs> okay, don't. Hi, Swolfie says, I've been thinking about upgrading from Barista Express. Current machine I have in mind is the Lilit Mara X. Very good heat exchange. Okay, so, so Ice Wolfie from, uh, Ice Wolfie from Iceland. And uh, he wants to upgrade to, okay, by the way, if you have Barista Express right now, if you're thinking about bring, uh, upgrade to Brista Pro, don't. Okay, it's not an upgrade. Okay, it's more like sideways. So uh, don't even bother to upgrade to Brista Pro if you have Brista Express. And make sure to save money, uh, get a heat exchanger or dual boiler. I think uh, Ice Wolf is going to buy the Marat, uh, Lillette uh, Marat X. They are a fantastic heat exchange machine as well. So make sure, you know, save money. So it's not an upgrade from Express to Pro. Okay, but heat exchange machine, the dual yeah, the heat exchange will do boiler. Just doesn't matter. Just get one of those, which means we have to get a good grinder too. So it's all, all it all comes down to his price. Okay, eight hundred dollars. You got seven hundred dollars. You got Mora X. I think what twelve to fifteen, thirteen hundred dollars. Right, we got thirteen hundred dollars for the heat exchange machine. You have to add another five to seven hundred dollars for the grinder as well. So now we are bumping to two grand. So two thousand dollars. So seven, eight, decent machine, decent home setup, two thousand. So that's huge jump. It's not that just the coffee machine we are talking. We are talking about the coffee grinder. Coffee grinder is more, you know, that's really important. So again, huge investment there. Is that you're gonna see the big increase in coffee quality from pro to uh, heat exchanger or dual boiler? Man. I don't know, okay? I mean, if you are drinking espresso or Americano, maybe, okay, maybe, not much. But if you are into milk-based drink, maybe not, I don't think you're gonna, think you're gonna tell the difference there. You're gonna save some time because this is more like the single boiler setup. You have to do one at a time. Even though this is thermal jet, thermal block, but you have to brew the coffee first and then milk, okay? But with the heat exchange or dual boiler, you, you're gonna do it at the same time. So it's gonna be, it takes you what? Couple minutes making coffee on this one. You're gonna cut that in half, okay? With heat, heat exchange. So we are talking about saving you a minute. So is that worth it? Three times more, four times more? Unless, okay, unless if you are, if you love coffee, if you guys love the gadgets, that's definitely worth it. Um. What, what is the reason you did not use the distribution tool? Uh, what, someone asked me, Hun, how come I didn't use the distribution tool? Okay. Uh, the reason why I didn't use it, because I just made this last night, so I was really anxious to use, it, use this. Because distribution tool help you distribute evenly. So this one does that. That cost me, what? I bought this uh, needle setup from Amazon for like seven bucks. And it comes with uh, like 12 of them. So far, I made two of these. So yeah, I mean, works really good, okay? Make sure, if you guys are thinking about making one, make sure cut out the end piece because they're really sharp needle. So you gotta cut out, okay? Just make sure cut it. So now you have a, a decent tool. So that's the only reason. Matthew says, I have a Breville Barista Express and a bottomless pour filter from AliExpress. How much coffee gram is a good fit for it? Okay, so Matthew asked us, uh, Matthew just got a AliExpress 
50 baskets. Uh, using like 20 gram, okay? 20 grams good. That's what I use. And um, Ice Wolfie says, if you had extra 500, which one would you get? If I have extra $500, which one do I get? Mm -hmm. From what? From... I don't know. So, so Ice Wolfie, so what's my budget? So if my budget is around 1300 bucks, 2000 I mean, Lily makes fantastic coffee machines now. So, by the way, the uh, coffee machine from China, they are making some fantastic coffee machines out there. So we got the, we got we need to uh, make sure watch out for the Chinese brand. Okay, they are some of them are incredible because uh, one of my viewer from CY, he just got this machine, two hundred fifty bucks, similar to like uh, Bravo Bambina. A 58 millimeter port filter, steam one, 250. So, I mean, hopefully, I can uh, get <laughs> hands on one of those and show you guys. It's gonna be incredible. Um, Ice Wolfie says, Are you getting more products to review since your channel is getting so popular? I'd be surprised if Breville won't send him a dual broiler. Okay, so I mean, because Ice Wolfie say maybe Breville going to send me now, Breville. I don't, I don't think Bravo knows who I am, okay? I mean, they have no clue. Because even though my channel is, you know, my small... What? My channel is a little... It's not small, but it's not big either, okay? So I don't think Bravo cares about me, okay? They're in reality. But if, they, I don't, if they're going to send me one, I don't think they're going to send me one. But yeah, yeah, thank you for that. Thank you for the compliments. So what if you compare the taste if you use the niche grinder? And the machines. When someone asked me if uh, what's the is there a taste difference between the niche grinder? Mm -hmm. Okay, so niche grinder is obviously completely different uh, grinder because they are real grinder. So this is uh, I think a 48 millimeter uh, conical burr, 48 millimeter, and the niche is 63 millimeter conical burr set as well. <clears throat> so they are using the mother. Uh, coffee grinder, uh, Mazar Kony is a commercial grade coffee grinder. They took the burr set out and they put that into a single dose machine. So, again, <clears throat> if you guys are looking for good coffee grinder, I mean, niche is, I mean, top of my list. Okay, so this is top of my list. So, I know it's hard to get it because uh, usually sold out in like within a couple of hours, but Man, I mean, if you can get one, uh, make sure, make sure look into it. And also, uh, another coffee grinder is really popular right now. Is it's called DF sixty four. Okay, six uh, sixty four. So, so that's a, a sixty four millimeter uh, flapper. They have a couple of different names, uh, Turin and a uh, few other names uh, throughout the world. Uh, one company makes it in China, but. At, I think they, uh, they market, as, market as a different name, but uh, they're really popular as well. They come up with a single dose model, just like Niche. So, and uh, I know, I think, I know a few YouTubers already did some uh, <clears throat> and the review on it. So far, so good. Okay, so that's pretty impressive. So, so if, you are, if you guys are into coffee gadgets, this is fantastic time. Okay, so finally, again, the finally, the IMS is making the filter basket for Bravo now. Okay, so again, the, if you are into Bravo, Bristock Pro or Bristock Express, the 54 millimeter port filter, now we have a lot of options. A lot of options. You have more questions. Okay. Um, what type of needles are they being wants to know? So, uh, they, so this is a <clears throat> just a needle from Amazon. Uh, this is a, a, the printer group head cleaner. Okay, uh, I'm going to put the link down below. Okay. Really like six or seven bucks. Very inexpensive. And another viewer says, does your homemade WDT scratch your basket? Okay, so, so this one, <clears throat> I, the fact is I don't go deep enough to uh, touch the baskets, okay? Because I do not go deep enough. Hold on. Hold on a second, can you? You know what, hold on a second. So what, what I usually do is, 
I don't go all the way down. I just from the top, okay, top to middle, kind of like in a distribute. Because you, so this one is kind of like raking it, kind of like landscaping rake. You kind of like rake, so you just put everything all nice and flat. So so this is what designed to do that. I mean, if you want to go down a little deeper and just make sure decomp everything, but yeah, so I don't touch it, and it doesn't scratch either. I'm, I'm scratching right now, but nope. So. I mean, it works. It does work. Ice Wolfie said, you said you would, with an extra 100, you would pick the Pro, but what about if you had an extra 500? Oh, okay, got it. Okay, so Ice Wolfie said, if my budget is, so this is what, 700 bucks right now. So if I have an additional 500 dollars, so 1200 bucks, if, if your budget is around 12 to 13, open up the whole new world. Okay, they got the quick meal, sells great heat exchange machine. Obviously, you got a little lead mix one. If you spend a little more, you can go with the rockets. You can go with the dual boiler from, goodness, uh, even eventually a pro as well. So, I mean, options are just, I mean, open up the world. Because under 1,000, we only have a few options. We got the Brista Express, we got Brista products. And then we have like Gaza Classic Pro, we got eventually a Serbia. So that's it. I mean, under thousand bucks, I think I choose Bravo all day long. Okay. Gaza Classic Pro is a fantastic, eventually is nice, but I use both machines for the convenience. And for the most of us, I stick with this. Okay. Still cheaper because Gaza Classic Pro, you are looking at 450 and plus you have to buy grinder. So you, you have to buy the, you know, separate grinder for that as well. So that's an initial, what, 300 bucks or so. So now it's bringing up to six to seven. Yeah. Okay. Um, Justin says. You got Justin has question. Has niche been easy to dial in coffee? Is it just a, is it easy? Is a niche is easy to dial in coffee? Yeah. It's so much easier. It's a lot easier than your, your hand grinder for sure. Okay. This hand grinder can be a pain in the butt, you know. <clears throat> I like using it, one, maybe two shots. But if you, got, if you are making multiple shots, hand grinder is not the one. <clears throat> um, okay, what else? Have you ever tried LDT? Have you ever tried LDT? What is that? Okay. What is LDT? So by the way, so tomorrow's coffee. So I'm trying to like feature like new coffee every single week. So this week we try out the new berry. Okay, so tomorrow I'm gonna bring out new coffee for you guys. So we, because I wanna try new coffee beans from the different parts of the country, the different roasters, let's, let's put it that way. So uh, if you guys are any roasters watching, <clears throat> please contact me, okay? Please send me some samples. I'll be happy to feature on my channel for you. All right, I think we are good, folks. <clears throat> anyway, again, I hope you guys like this uh, video and this setup. Uh, I'm really enjoying the, the live format because it's nothing like it, okay? It's nothing like just seeing it live because I want to see how things work in live setting because if I'm going to plan on buying something because I don't want to see like polished videos. It's, it's me though. It's, I'm biased. So I know this setup is... It's not pleasant to look at, but you know what? This is my kitchen and my coffee studio. So I hope you guys like this. Make sure your thumbs up on my video. If you don't like it, don't do anything, okay? All right. Oh, hold on. We got one last question from... What about ECM machines? Okay, so someone asked me, ECM, ECM is also a fantastic machine as well. They got so many great machines. If you start looking, spending like over hundred, oh no, I'm sorry, over like twelve hundred dollar and up, man, we got ECM, we got Brazil, Brazil, we have Lillet, we got Rancholio, we got Rockets, man, you got tons and tons. Of, they got so many great machines out there. If you spend about, start spending over thousand dollars, so, man, but, I mean, who? Still, the fact is, you know, not everybody has a couple of grand to spend money on coffee machine. 
I mean, I thought I was spending, so I got this one about three years ago on sale. Plus I, I was able to use the, the Beth and Beyond coupon, the 20% off. I think I spent $475 for this. I thought, you know, that's crazy. So, so anyway, are we good? I think we are good this morning and then... Oh, the person said LDT is Londonium Espresso Distribution Tool. L-O-N-D-I-N-I-U-M. Okay, so at, oh, by the way, there are so many different distribution tools out there. Okay. And so, so this is one of them. I, saw, I, I think I know what you're talking about. They've got fantastic distribution tool. So this cost me, what, maybe a buck or so. Okay, because it uh, comes with 12, I think it cost me 12 needle for what, six bucks. So this cost me maybe like $2. And then I know those distribution tools out there, like a couple hundred bucks. Some of them are like 200 bucks. Okay. They're amazing tools, but, but it's kind of like how to justify spending a couple hundred bucks on even like $600 machine or $700 machine, no, seven or $800 machine. So it all depends on what you guys are looking for. But if you have like $5,000 coffee machine, man, spending a couple hundred bucks on tools, that's not a big deal. But if your coffee machine is only like seven or eight hundred dollar coffee machine, spending you know hundred bucks on distribution tool is, I mean that's you know that's overwhelming. Okay, that's why unless you really like tools, you know that's the reason why I kind of like show you guys you know how to make this, you know very easy to make. Okay. Um, somebody says, do you still have the BES eight forty XL infuser? Okay, someone asked me, do you still have my infuser? No, I sold that one, what, uh, last year, okay? Because I need to make some room on my house, so I sold that one. But that one was really fantastic machine because I replaced the pump on that, replaced the seal, everything. That was a really good machine. So, but with the grinder, they're, they're perfect, okay? All right. I think we are good, okay? We are really good this morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday morning. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning with uh, new coffee, okay? Make sure to check out the new berry. New berry coffee roaster. They're really good. All right.